guys what's up what's new it's the girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much so today we're we'll reacting to what is the quran without further ado let's dive right in what is the quran it is a set of seventh century revelations from god made to muhammad in two cities mecca and medina in what is now Saudi Arabia. It heralds the truth that there is only one God, not the many gods still being worshiped in ancient Arabia. Of course, this was not the earliest revelation that there is only one God. That had been taught in Hebrew to the Jews and in Greek to the Christians before it was taught to Muslims in Arabic. These three sets of revelation set apart the people of the book each with their own special covenant from the same God. There is only one. We believers in one God are on the same team, as it were, and should protect one another's places of worship, listed in the Quran as monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, where God's name is much invoked. The Quran does not confine God's action to the formal covenants of religion, God tells us that he sends messages to all men all the time, beginning with Adam, who repented his sin in the garden and became the first prophet. The unending stream of prophets includes Moses and Jesus. Muhammad himself is the seal of the prophets, not as canceling former covenants, but as confirming them. But the love of God is not brought only by human messengers in the Quran. Creation itself is a set of messages from God, which speak a divine code that we are told to decipher. God's intent can be seen in the beauty and power of the universe. Moses does not speak alone on the mountain. The mountain speaks with him. Birds speak to Solomon. The world is constantly signaling to us, bringing us insights into the beauty and power of its maker. This should call us to a reverence for God's handiwork, an important message for our ecologically challenged era. The Quran has more of poetry in it than of legislation. It sets ethical norms while stressing the need for mercy in our dealing with God's fellow creatures. Force is allowed only for self-defense and never as a way of spreading religion. Commercial dealings with fellow Muslims or with non-Muslims should be meticulously fair and never extortionate. The relations of the sexes were still polygamous in the 7th century, as among the ancient Hebrews and the original Mormons, but women are to be honored. In fact, the dowry that was paid to a husband's family by the bride's family in Europe was paid in the Quran directly to the bride and she retains this bride right even if the husband divorces her or if she divorces him. This carved out an area of women's rights unparalleled in the seventh century. The Quran is a book of many levels and great depths. Even non-Muslims can learn from it, as Pope Francis has proclaimed. I am Gary Wills for the Amerstein Center. That was really amazing guys and even though he was an he is a non-muslim well at this point right he still spoke so highly of the quran creation ethics women right the prophets right wow it it transforms everything the quran the holy book it transforms everything once you read it because he spoke so highly of the quran there was no faults wow and he even spoke about women right to be honored that once a woman was getting married right and she got a gift from the husband whether or not divorce or she divorced him she still had the rights right to keep that gift and even the prophets starting with adam 
right god sends us messengers that we can right bear the right fruits right the fruit of the spirit which is of good which is to show charity which is to love which is to be kind right to help each other have a connection with god right so he speaks he's speaking so highly of the quran and even trying to understand right because this human mind this human brain cannot understand the depth of the quran right because if we did well as as the word said it's not our our brain or our mind that is stopping us from accepting god right or accepting islam is our hearts we start with our hearts right and so even the jews the christians it was taught to us that there is only one god whether in Hebrew, whether in Greek, whether in Arabic, it was thought that worship no other God. The, com the commandments are there. And yet we find, we find us worshiping all kind of things. Idols, humans, all kind of, all kind of stuff that goes up, um, that goes beyond, beyond what God said us, the instruction that God sent by through the prophets we go beyond that right that day of judgment there shall be weeping and gashing of teeth anyway guys what did you think about this video i found that it was amazing though i found that it was very amazing that even a non-muslim can say that the quran it's as amazing as it comes. But anyway, guys, we come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing. I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Let love lead the way. I wish I had a time machine. You turn me on like a light switch.